deciding whether or not to homeschool is kind of a big deal. I'm gonna walk through with you all of my honest pros and cons of homeschooling so that you can make the best decision for you. Welcome to my channel, my name's Erin. I'm a homeschooling mom to four kids, ages four to 12, and we are just wrapping up our seventh year of homeschooling. So I've been in the trenches for a little while and I have some thoughts to share with you so that you can make an educated decision about whether or not it's gonna be the right fit for your family. So if you already homeschool, you probably already know all of these things, but maybe you know someone out there that is thinking about homeschooling schooling that you can share this with that might be able to help them make a decision about whether or not they should homeschool too. If you do already homeschool, don't tune out of this one though because there may be something in here that can encourage your heart and bless your heart as you continue on in the process of homeschooling because sometimes it's just helpful to hear from someone else why you're doing what you're doing and that it's beneficial to be doing what you're doing. So I had intended this to be one video with the pros and the cons, but I just got a little long winded. So we're gonna split this into two videos. This week is gonna be the pros of homeschooling. And next week I'm gonna share with you the cons of homeschooling. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on that next video. And turn on the notification bell too, because a lot of times you might not see that new content when it comes out if you don't hit the notification bell. Some of these might be a little bit different for you depending on your specific family and your specific circumstances because that's just the nature of it. We... <laughs> because that's just the nature of it. We do things differently. So some of these things might be different for <laughs> My cat's upstaging me here. <laughs> Let's jump into the pros of homeschooling. And this is certainly not an exhaustive list. It would take far too long to cover what I feel like are all of the pros or the benefits of homeschooling, but I'm gonna do my best to narrow it down to my top six things. My first pro of homeschooling is freedom and flexibility. So this is one I know is kind of across the board. Pretty much everyone that I know, freedom and flexibility are like the biggest reason why they choose to homeschool. There are so many things that go into that, but really it boils down to the fact that you have the freedom to do things the way that you want to do them. You have the freedom to be able to move at your own child's pace rather than pushing them ahead when they're not ready for it or holding them back because the rest of the students aren't ready for it. You have the freedom to choose a curriculum that is gonna be best for your family. They don't have to stick just to a one size fits all approach because honestly, that does not work for many, many kids. And so for kids especially who struggle with learning disabilities or who may be very gifted, homeschooling is a fantastic fit because you can really tailor build an education for your child that is gonna be the best thing for them. As well as for your family, you have the flexibility Ability to be able to schedule your homeschool year around when you want to take breaks. You don't have to do things the way the public school system go does. You can choose to homeschool four days a week versus five days a week. You can homeschool at 10 a.m versus 7 a.m. As homeschoolers, we have the freedom to involve our kids in their own educational process rather than telling them what they have to learn. Really, we don't have to do things the way the traditional school system does things. We don't have to do things the way things always have been done just for the sake of doing them the way things always have been done. Because we can really build a homeschool that is gonna be beneficial to us in whatever way we need it to be as a family. And it is really an individual thing. Every family homeschools differently, and that's the beauty of it, that you can build something that is gonna work for you and for your kids. My second pro of homeschooling is socialization, which may seem counterintuitive because many people still have this idea in their head that if you homeschool your kids, they aren't gonna be properly socialized. And that is a myth. That is totally untrue. Because when you think about it, what is actually real life like? When kids go out and they graduate, 
are they gonna be getting a job with only people that are their specific age? No. <laughs> Homeschooling is much more real life in that our kids associate with kids of all different ages, which is more like what the real world is like, as well as they are out in the real world more. They are not confined to a classroom or a school for the majority of their day and for being forced to socialize with people that they don't choose. When you homeschool, you get to choose the people that you associate with. So kids are not forced into this alternate reality where they have no choice in the matter. There's a saying out there, I can't remember who said it, that you are the combination of the five people that you spend the most time with. This is a big deal because when your kids are at home with you, you are the one that they are with the most and your other children or whoever you choose to spend your homeschool day with. It is very, very, very important at a young age especially to have your kids be around people that are going to be sharing the same worldview, the same values as your children and your family because children are highly, highly influenced by the people that they are around all of the time. And I don't know about you, but I certainly want to have a little bit of say in who those people are because it's my job as a parent to ensure that our children are raised up in the way that we believe that they should go. And when they're not home with us, we have no say in the matter. So for me, this is one of the huge pros of homeschooling. I've heard from so many people too that they can tell a difference between homeschooled kids and public school kids just in the way they interact with adults and with other people. Generally speaking, homeschooled kids, because the parents are home with them, the parents are the ones teaching them and training them all throughout the day, they are often, not always, but often more respectful, more kind, more courteous, and are able to carry on more of a conversation with people of all ages, not just being so focused on impressing their peers with how they speak. When you homeschool as well, your kids are far less likely to fall victim to bullying and peer pressure and some of those negative influences in the school system. Not to say that that doesn't ever happen because my kids have been bullied from time to time too when we do extracurricular things. That is just a reality of life. However, when we homeschool, we have much more control over how their day goes and what things that they are involved in. Some people would say that bullying can build character, but I totally disagree. I don't think that it's ever okay to tear people down and use that as a character building experience. That's just not how we should be doing things. Our job as parents in part is to protect them from some of those negative outside influences so that they can grow up with a strong foundation in the truth and in who God created them to be as individuals and not so worried about how what they do or what they think or what they say or what they wear or any of those things is gonna be interpreted by their peers. They are much more free to be who they are at the core and what they wanna do with their life because they're allowed to do that from a very young age. The third pro of homeschooling is the ability for your children to develop a love of learning. This is a big one for me. Again, all of these ones are big ones. <laughs> I find that one of the tremendous values of homeschooling is really allowing our kids to have a say in their educational process. They are not just forced to do specific classes because that is what someone somewhere has once decided is important and what they need to learn because that's not real life either, you know? People, everyone has different skill sets, everyone has different interests, everyone has different um, abilities to and learning styles and all of these different things all really can make a difference in 
how they enjoy the learning process. And with homeschooling, you are not just teaching to the test. You are not just memorizing facts in order to pass the test. You are really learning for the sake of learning and because you enjoy it. And you can model that love of learning for your kids yourself when you choose to further your own education as a part of the process. When you homeschool, you have the ability to find things that your kids are interested in and have that become part of their education. They don't just have to do math, science, language arts, you know, spelling, history, those things. They can choose to pursue, even at a very young age, things that interest them because they have more time available to them to do those things. Your homeschool day takes up far less time than if they were going to be in a traditional school setting, especially if they are assigned homework once they get home from that setting. Because when you homeschool, it's kind of all done in one shot, right? Your homework is done as the lesson that is being taught for the day. So it takes way less time which allows them much more time to pursue the things that interest them. When you homeschool, you have the ability to determine a process or a learning approach that is going to be working best for your children. And if you're interested, if you didn't know there was different approaches to homeschooling, I have a video here that I'll link that talks with you about some of the most popular methods of homeschooling because there are different ways and they all have very different benefits and different approaches. And there are certain approaches, especially like unit studies, where you can choose things that your kids are already interested in and incorporate those things into your homeschool. So your kids really are able to develop this love of learning because it's fun. They're doing something and learning about something that they're already actually interested in, which is huge. My fourth pro of homeschooling is real life experiences. When you homeschool, you have the chance to incorporate so many more field trips or excursions or just learning activities at your home where your kids are more able to pursue some of those occupational education type activities. So for us, some of those things have looked like our son learning from the construction workers that are building a shop on our property. He has gotten to drive their excavator and ask them all kinds of questions. We have been part of nature groups in the past where we have gotten out in our community and toured fish hatcheries and apple orchards and um, the beach and had people teaching our kids how honeybees make honey and then we get to sample the honey and there's so many different real life experiences that you can tie into your homeschool. And it's especially fun when you study a particular subject and then you can kind of tie this beautiful bow on the end of it by doing a field trip that relates to that subject. And I mean, that's done sometimes in schools, but certainly not as much as you have the opportunity to do when you homeschool. And that just uh, ties back to the last one with creating a love of learning because it's so much fun. It really makes a difference. It really makes the homeschool experience beautiful and fun and engaging and hands-on. And that's what makes learning come alive and last for a lifetime. My fifth pro is a big one for us and that is faith building because us as a Christian family, it is very important to us to be teaching our children what we believe to be true. And being able to incorporate the Bible or devotions and scripture memory and different things like that into our actual homeschool. You can incorporate those things into your school because it's not this place where you have the separation of church and state because we are not a government run organization where we're not allowed to talk about God. We can choose to make that a priority if we want to. When you send your kids away to public school for the vast majority of their waking hours of the day, where you have no influence in their life at that, for those hours anyway, they are being taught whatever 
the school system and their friends or peers believe about things. And then when they come home, you have to counter that or fight against that to make sure that what you believe to be true is being taught to them as well. Not that it's impossible, but it certainly is much harder to give your kids a strong foundation in the truth if the only time that you have with them, you're having to counter what they've been taught all day in school or from their peers because when they come home, then they've got homework to do and you have a very limited time in which to instill your own values and your own morals into their lives. When you homeschool, you can choose curriculum if you want to that is Christian-based or faith-based and have that be part of your homeschool so that the truth can be tied into what their other core subjects are, which is a huge benefit if that's something that you choose to pursue. My sixth pro of homeschooling is family time. And this I feel like is kind of a no brainer because when you're home together, you're together. You are building relationships together. You are learning together. You're doing everything together. <laughs> So obviously that allows you so much more time to build and deepen the relationships with your kids. When our kids are grown and out of the house, I certainly don't feel like anyone is going to be like, man, <laughs> I spent way too much time with my kids. That was a waste of time, right? <laughs> Most people wish they had more time with their family. And when you homeschool, you have that time together as well as your kids also have so much more time to build those relationships with their siblings that are going to last a lifetime. They can really go deep with their siblings, with their parents, with extended family, because you have more time available to you to do those things and to build those relationships. And so that is a huge, benefit of homeschooling. So those are the biggest pros of homeschooling. Make sure you stay tuned for next week's video where I'm going to walk you through the cons of homeschooling. Maybe I missed something that is one of your top pros for homeschooling. I would love to hear from you. Will you drop a comment below and let me know what are your favorite or your top pros of homeschooling if you already homeschool and if you don't, what drew you to homeschooling? What are you thinking are some of the big pros of homeschooling? Let me know below. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up below. Subscribe for more content like this. Be blessed today.